In today's video, we are going to talk about how to install Android Studio on Windows 11. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. So before installing Android Studio, make sure you have Java installed into your system. So first of all, let's see if we have Java installed or not. For that, I'll open my CMD or command prompt and in that we'll see if we have Java available or not. The command to check the version of installed Java is Java space hyphen version. And after that, you just need to hit enter. So here you can see we do not have any version of Java installed at the moment. So first of all, we'll download Java and then we'll install it. And after that, we'll move towards the Android Studio. So this is the Oracle website, which is the official home for Java and its JDKs. So if you scroll down here, you will have three sections, Linux, Mac OS and Windows. Obviously, we'll go to the Windows section and from here, download this x64 installer. I have already downloaded it, so I will not do it. In your case, it might ask you to sign in or log in onto Oracle. And after that, you will be able to download this JDK. So I'll just go to the directory where I have my downloaded file. This is my JDK. So just double click on this one. Now just follow the instructions on the screen. So just click on next, again next. Now it has started the process to install the JDK into our Windows 11. So it has been installed successfully. So I'll just close this one. Now we need to set some environment variables for our installed JDK. So first of all, go to your C directory. From there, go to your program files. Then go to your Java folder, which is this one. Then open your JDK. Now go to your bin folder and just copy this path. Now just press your super key or windows key and look for environment variables. So here we have the option. So just click on it. From here, click on environment variables. We have two section here. Under the second one, look for path. Here we have path, click on it and click on edit. So these are all the path and here we need to edit a new one. So I'll just click on edit text, click OK. And at the end of it, just paste the path that you have just copied. So I will just paste this one, click on OK. And now we are good to go. One more path that is needed to be added here and that is Java home. So I'll just click on new and the variable name will be java underscore home and in terms of variable value go back to your folder and this time open your jdk folder and just copy this path go back to your environment variables and under the variable value right click here and paste the path that you have just copied click ok again click on ok and you are good to go now let's see if we have java installed or not so i'll open my command prompt and this time I'll use the same command, which was Java space hyphen version and hit enter. So here you can see Java is being installed with the version of 17.0.2. So we are done with installing the prerequisite. Now it's time to install Android Studio into our Windows 11 as we are done with everything. So this is the official website of Android Studio. From here, you can download it. Just click on this download Android Studio button and from here accept the license and terms conditions click on this one and now you are able to download this one so i'll just click on it and the download process will start and now i'll go to the directory where i have my android studio available so as you can see here i have my android studio so i'll just double click on it so we are good to go and now again we just need to follow the instructions click on next again click on next this is the directory where it will get installed. So again, click on next. Now we just need to click on install. So we are done with the installation. We just need to click on next. Click on finish and the Android Studio will start on its own for the first time. So This is how it looks like. Click on OK. This is the version and obviously it is powered by IntelliJ. Just click on don't send from here. Click on next. Either you can go for custom or you can go with standard. I'll prefer to go with standard. So I'll just click on next. Here you have the themes. You can go with the light one or dark one. I'll stick with the dark one and now click on next. From here again, click on next. So these are some of the packages and some files that will get downloaded now. So I'll just click on next. So from here, scroll down 
and only then you will be able to click on accept after that click on this second one as well again scroll down click on accept and click on this third one again scroll down and click on accept here only then you will be able to have your finish button enabled so just click on finish now and now the process has just begun now it will download and install some of the packages and some file which are necessary for android studio to run for the first time it might take a little bit of time so do not worry sit back and just relax we'll see you after this one so we are done with everything now we just need to click on finish so this is the welcome screen from here you can create a new project or you can open an existing one obviously we do not have any previous project so i'll just click on new project from here you just need to click the screen that you want to go with i'll go with the empty activity after that click on next name it anything i'll name it as skills build so i will just write here skills build and after that just click on finish now it is preparing my android studio to run for the first time so for the first time it will take a little bit of time so we will wait for it as you can see here it is loading and it is building the gradle here we have the information about this new version which is obviously from the bumblebee i'll just minimize this screen so basically you will code your business logics here and this file which says activity underscore main dot xml you will design your android application here it is building at the moment and the gradle is downloading so we will wait for it to get completed and then we'll move ahead and then we'll see how it works and how it looks like and this is the file that says activity underscore main dot xml here we will design our android application as you can see we can add different buttons image views fragments and different other things and with that we are done for today's video i hope now that you must have learned a lot of new things that how you can install the android studio in your newly windows 11 so please leave a like subscribe and press the bell icon we'll see you in the next video till then take care